Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Or if you're new here, I'm Melissa. I'm Garrett. And we're the Leffersons, and we're finally here. Again. Here, after a minute of absence, but we're back. Um, if you want to know what's been going on in our lives, you can follow us on Patreon. Otherwise, we will probably update you soon. soon. But we have a Magic Mail Monday. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with what Magic Mail is, it's a series that we started a few years ago where people send items to our P.O. box, which is always linked down below, and it's stuff Sounds from... kind of strange, but yeah. it's been a hit on our channel, so we, we decided to bring it back. We love it because it's been an opportunity to build community with all of you. Yeah, and way to connect with you guys, yeah. get to know you guys. Also a way to like showcase different small shops mm -hmm. because different small shops had sent us things, all sorts of stuff. So. This, this is partial magic mail. And that the people have sent us, but also partial magic mail that we have ordered. That was sent to us to our P.O. box because I purchased it. <laughs> so it's a lot of magic. pins, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of pins that I've been purchasing on whatnot. On it's what? an app and it's we'll leave our referral link down below if you want to get $15 or if your first purchase, if you're a pin person. If you have time, the only reason why I have been purchasing things on Whatnot recently is because I've been off and I've had time on my hands. But like normally I don't have time on my hands. So All right. so anyways, let's start with the magic mail. We have this large box it's that says Fragile. Fragile. Come on, guys. From Mary Beth in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. All right, friends. Oh, there's a Disney bag in there. Oh my gosh, it's so magical. There is a letter. Hello, Leffersons. I just want to say how much I love your vlogs, content, personalities, and everything about you three. Oh, that's weird. Three. We're a family of three. As sure. well as your sure. extended it's, it's family It's been for a bit this time. I've been watching you way before you were pregnant with James and uh -huh. have continued to do so. There are so many others out there that cannot pull off home vlogs but are good in the parks, but you guys make it seem so fun and effortless. Oh, thanks. Hey. We should do more home vlogs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I saw Magic Mail Mondays came back and I could not resist sending you some of our items uh -huh. from our very newly created Etsy store called Once Upon a 3D Print. <gasps> <clears throat> Solds for Garrett's life. We make multicolored Mickey head shape pin boards and napkin holders. We also have a ton of different colors. You can check them out at their Etsy shop, which we'll leave down below with uh, Mary Beth and Anthony. It's a mother, mom and son dealio. That um, is so sweet. I'm and so they excited. talked about 3D printing. I feel like you kind of need to open it, but like I also want to know what's inside. I like how she hit it with this bag. Like, um, this is perfect. Oh my God. Oh okay. my goodness, things are labeled. All right, Halloween napkin holder, okay. Okay, we literally need a napkin holder. Oh, okay. oh my gosh, this is so cute. We gotta put it together, hold on. Like, Who knew you could 3D print and make napkin holders? This is so genius. I did, I knew that. This is so I, genius. I know a lot about 3D printing that you would really this like. This is so genius, you guys. This is cool. And like, this is an easy way to do it too. Ooh. You just have to make the three pieces and it all fits together like this. And you can ship them like flat. That's perfect. Okay, so this is the patriotic napkin holder. So obviously you have the two Mickeys. We literally just st stuck them in here. Yeah. And really, I guess you could interchange them if you wanted to. Oh, here's, there's one more. Um, there is one more. I can yes. show you it all in its pieces. So this is obviously red, white, and blue for like, this would be perfect for summertime. Oh, this, this is. Obviously we need to use like soon because it's Halloween. This is a different colorway. So it's. Oh, another patriotic one. Still but red, white, and blue. But different but base colors and different. everything. Literally. Sorry, I'm just napkin like. Holders. I'm just looking at. How, like, like how they were created. Yeah, I want a printer. Okay, let's keep going. So the next one I think is the the Mickey pin boards, and I'm interested to see how these oh my go. Gosh, oh my gosh, and they even put a little pin on there to like remind you oh that it's yeah. a pin board. I love that. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these pin boards. Oh, yeah, they're about a foot square, they're and so cute. the infill of them allows you to put a pin on there, but it isn't like a, a cork board. You use the pin backs to hold them on. I don't think most people like get these and like look at how, like how they were designed, but the the squigglies are quite entertaining inside of here. There's so a lot going on. I think, I think that's an infill design and then you just take the top and bottom layers off of it. It's cool. And it creates, and it's a, it, 
It holds them in place, obviously. But it also creates it so like if you hang it on a wall or something, it shows the background color yeah. through. So it can That's disappear. So I love, I seriously love these. The we've we've been wanting to add pins. We've got like an actual background. I'm sorry we haven't been using it, but it's been sitting here. We'll hopefully use it for our next video. But we've been talking about adding pin boards again to our background. So this, we should use these. I love the yellow. These are so- This one's coming to my room for my pineapple pin board. And I, this... My pineapple pin board's overflowing. I think I'm gonna not have two Oh, that'll be perfect pin for boards. it. And yeah. this white is just pure and it just will disappear into any decor. And, and I, all the little pins are so cute too. Did you guys see the little pins? Like how cute are these little teeny tiny pins? Little thumper there. And then there's more in here. Okay. I think what I really like about 3D printing is like Another if Halloween you, if you want there. color, you can get color. Yeah. Like these are strong saturated colors. Yeah. Like, or if you want it to be more neutral. Yeah. Um, so this is the opposite color Halloween napkin holder. I'll show you the two different options. Obviously the two different options. You've got the orange on the bottom or the black on the bottom and then vice versa. How fun. And so. Unfortunately, I think we've had this package for a while. So she probably wanted us to decorate that over the summer. And I apologize that we're opening it now. But the Halloween ones will be able to use. Yes. So I, I love that. I would, I, and I'm sure she's got Christmas I ones. I was going to say, like, I bet there's some really cool, like, dark red and, like, white yes. filament out there that would be really pretty for, um... Oh, for and the then, Christmas ones. Ooh, yeah. What if they did, like, put the little berries on the head for oh, Christmas? Oh, that would be so cute. I don't know what's possible. I don't know what's possible know. either. Okay, so we have, we have classic Mickey, oh. and we have red, white, and blue Mickey for the 4th of July. I gotta see that one. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's a cool pin on there that I've never seen before. It's like a hidden Mickey pin. I'm nerding out over here. <laughs> like, this is super too, cool. I am though. Like, this was really, really fun. And these are oh so goodness. unique. So the shop is called Once Upon a 3D Print and they're on Etsy. Of course, we will leave yes. their Etsy shop down below. Everything we talk about, we'll leave down below in Ooh. the description. Let them know that you Thank uh, you so much. Yes, thank for you. For sending us all of these. We are like Mary Beth stocked. and Anthony, right? Yes, Mary Beth oh, and so Anthony. Cool. Thank you guys so much. We seriously appreciate I'm it. Excited. I'm, I'm exci excited. Now, now I'm excited. I think the other day I, I like said- I need to start decorating for Halloween now. I think the other day I said, we need to start doing pin boards again. Yeah, that's literally what I was ones. just talking about, yeah. right? Exactly. Uh, that was so fun. I'm okay. so excited. Okay, let's put these Ooh, back in the box. vibes are up for this. Honey. Did you see this gold one? I know. They're all really, really cool. <sighs> you could have. Love I wonder them. what wood would look like. They make wood wood filaments. Oh. I wonder what a like a. Garrett would like to do business with you. No, so. I don't. I just want. I just wanted. I just want ideas. <laughs> Okay. okay, so we have some pin mail and then we've got some letters and all sorts of things. I really am intrigued by this package because it has all of these like sea turtles on there as um, stamps. Oh, Aww. it's some art. Oh, some art. How cute. All right. Oop. Oop. We've got Oop. a Mickey in there as well. Salad Mickey. Hey, Garrett and Alyssa, this is Ramsey again with another piece of artwork. I recently visited Disney World to celebrate my 23rd birthday and I had a blast. My favorite memory there was in Hollywood Studios where I gave Mickey Mouse a painting of him and he loved it. Oh, so the, that's the picture. That's, the <gasps> that's so cute. And it's literally Sorcerer Mickey. I yeah, love that's that. cute. He smothered me with hugs and kisses for six minutes straight and Aww. even followed me outside to hug me some more. I love that. That's so much magical moment. It was the most magical thing ever. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well and have a great day, uh, Ramsey. This well, is so cute. You. I love it. And it has her name and date on the back. This is beautiful. I that love handmade things. I'm just. You guys, magic mail doesn't have to be like sending us like these huge extravagant no. things. Like we love this. But and again, like little notes. Like how adorable. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Anybody with artistic skill, mm -hmm. I'm just like. I'm just amazed by, so. Yeah, agreed, yeah. agreed. Should we open a couple of pins and yeah. then come back to Magic Mail? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So again, I purchased, I believe I purchased all of these on Whatnot, and I don't even remember what I got. So they're all pins. Let's see what I got. All right, let's see what you got. Oh yeah, there's candy. Ooh. Love that. They are these. Oh my gosh, yeah, 
see, I forgot. Okay, there's oh, a story behind it. Hold on, and there's candy. <laughs> there's apple and guava. Ooh. Which do you want? Uh, guava. I want guava. Yes, thanks. Let's try them. Oh, I don't want to try it right now. They're probably hard candies, but you can have it. Okay, so the reason why I ended up going into Paradise Pins is who I purchased from, and I ended up just going into her sale, and she had this pin, which is from the Zootopia collection. I didn't know if we had this one, and I didn't have enough time to check. However, I purchased it for $2, so I was like, okay, I'm stuck now. We're gonna see what else they have. <laughs> so Whatnot is a live auction uh platform so you have a certain amount of time to bid on things so yeah it's super fun so then i finally went over to our pin collection realized i already had that lion pin but realized this was the last one we needed so this was the last one that we needed the polar bear so we got it and yeah. now i think we have the complete set and we got a couple of others that we needed so we opened these pin boxes what not too long ago I no think. but they are from the up series and uh there is good old doug with the ball in his mouth uh, I, I love Doug at the park. I know. He, you see him just wandering around and he's just like, oh, I We saw you. him like three times, I, I think, at our last Animal Kingdom trip. I think he started to recognize us. I'll leave that vlog down below or up here or one of those places. And then the last one, this is from the One Family pin event from like a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know what year it was, maybe 2022. And this one was just so precious. We have been watching a lot of Frozen lately because James has been obsessed with Frozen, so I figured this was precious. And it has all of them. And what's the, what's the, what's the text say? It says, Venner Og Family. Yep. Which means one family. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means, but it was know. precious, so we got it. So those were the pins that I purchased from Paradise Pins. I will leave her shop down below. She had really decent pins, and I feel like I got them all for like under $10 a pin. And if you want to try whatnot, we'll leave our link down below for that. If, if you want to save $15, if yeah. you've never done it before, you can use our referral and you can save $15 off of like anyone on whatnot. And it helps us too. So. It does help us, yeah. yeah. All right, okay. so let's keep rolling with the magic mail. Our next piece of magic mail is from Renee in Arkansas. I'm a sucker for stationery. It's from the whimsical, right? Yeah, the, the whimsical Wren Press. Love that. I'm a sucker. I wonder if there's like stickers inside of there or something. I don't know. I don't oh. Know. oh, it's strong. It is, it is strong. Mm. <laughs> yep. And it has this beautiful watercolor hummingbird. And it's from it's from her. It says her name on the back. There is this the, her? The company mate name on the back. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. I've been a subscriber to your channel for a couple of years and I love your content. Although I do not make Disney products, I wanted to participate in Magic Mail Monday. No, these are amazing. Last year I stepped out of my comfort zone and created an Etsy shop. This card and these stickers represent a few of the products I make. I'm including a discount code for your viewers Aww. for 15% off any purchase. Yes. Lefferson's 15. Okay. Uh, and her shop is at Whimsical Wren Press. I can't... I had trouble with my R's when I was a kid. <laughs> so whimsical Ren Press. Press. Yes. Etsy.com. So And she just opened in 2023, mm -hmm. so she is so new. Okay, so these stickers are so cute. And she said my art isn't Disney, but I named the hummingbird painting on the front flit. So that's cute. Oh, I love that. Be, we appreciate things far beyond the Disney scope of life. We really do. Uh, if this, you guys have an Etsy shop that doesn't sell Disney things, that's great. We love that. Because like we can have things that aren't Disney in our house. Please. Because, but we, we appreciate art. And, I mean, we appreciate everything. We also love Disney. We love everything. I mean, this is... A, that is sold. I am in my octopus era. That has so many meanings to us uh -huh. right now, I feel like. Mm -hmm. James loves octopus. He knows, he, he says That's octopus. That's been like his favorite sea creature animal. I read a book since. that had an octopus and it was amazing. We just went to the shed and they had, was it that it kind of It was a Grand, Grand Pacific octopus. And you guys both were like And it was moving. Obsessed. Like it was so, oh, so cool. That, that's awesome. Okay, so she also included these two little froggies, which are cute, like a that little tree cute. frog. A trash raccoon. panda eating a donut. 
I love that he's eating a donut. I think that's perfect. I feel like that's how I look in the morning. It's like the pink donuts from Joffrey's. That's what he's eating. So it is a Disney sticker. You're right. It's just a raccoon who's eating the leftover pink donuts at the end of the night in Magic oh, Kingdom. Man. These are so cute. Thank no, you so I, much, Renee. I want to go sweet. see the rest of your stuff now yes. because this is oh, I will leave. So pretty. All of, again, her information down below. Thank you so much. Feel this paper. Ah, it is just, it is just real nice. Mm. This real nice paper. Let's keep going back to pens. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna open this one. This one's oh. from Two Little Monster Pins. Monsters Pins. Two Little Monsters Pins. We ended up getting good prices on these. One was six and one was seven dollars. Oh, cool. Oh, you, we were watching this. We watched this one together. It's just been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> so these are some solid finds. And that's one of the things I like about Whatnot is um, you can just stumble into some shows and find some really neat stuff. So the top one is a record player with, uh, oh, what is his name? Ray. Ray. And Alyssa was like, oh, that's so cute because you DJ and Ray. Yeah, gear DJs. If you guys need a DJ, reach out. Uh, tailoredsounds.com. Anywhere in the Midwest he'll travel to. Tailored-sounds.com. Unless if you want to tra com. pay for him to travel other places. Okay. Uh, then we got Tamatoa because at that time, little man was really into Moana. He still loves Moana. He just chooses to listen to the music instead of watching the movie lately, which is fine. That's fine. We've seen Moana a million times at this point, so he's, he's, we're good to take a little bit of a break. He's a toddler. <laughs> so those are the only two pins that we purchased from her. I'll do another pin package because we have a mm. couple of them. Okay. So this one... By the way, that this. candy is very good. Is it? Mm -hmm. This one was from... Shay. 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 I mean, oh, the first one that I see is this. <gasps> ah, the Moana profile pen. Is that what this is? Yeah, it's like an open edition. Okay. But. That's pretty. How beautiful. Yeah. So pretty. I'm in. Oh. I remember seeing this and I was like, I have never seen him on a pin before. Nope. It's Merida's dad. Mel Baldoon. On a pin. I don't, I don't know if that's his name. Like, I, could I just up. don't think I've ever seen him on a no, pin before. But I love it. It's from 2012. Probably when the movie came out. 2012. I don't know. It seems like maybe from like a mystery box or something, but I just had to get it. So those are the two that we purchased nice. from then. So this next one is actually really cool. This is from Fantasy Springs at Tokyo Disney Sea. What? It is a, like a postcard from Tokyo Disney. From, oh, sent from there. Yeah, it's sent from there from Erin, and she put her little Instagram in here, so I'll have to we'll have to reach out to you, Erin. So it says, "Hello from Tokyo Disney Resort. Just wanted to send a little magic from abroad. So thankful for your videos. This was sent <laughs> April seventeenth. I think we actually now. I know that it's been a minute since we filmed a magic mail. However, we just got this in at our PO box within the last month really yes so really? it took that long to get to us i don't know if it got lost or something but i literally picked this up with my mom a couple of weeks ago so it yeah it was postmarked in japan on 418 and it took that long to get here Interesting. <gasps> crazy but wow thank you for sending us some I, magic to to take the time to write that and send it and from, send like, it and just, it's like marked thanks it's marked fantasy springs yeah I mean, our, our P.O. box is there. Our P.O. box is always linked down below, but it's literally March Fantasy Springs, Tokyo Disney. See, that's so cool. So cool. That's, I think that's the difference about getting like a letter in the mail yeah. um, is, is the time that it takes to like, it requires you to actually do something. So whereas an email is like, Yeah, yeah. So this yeah. one is uh, a... It's a thank you letter. Oh, it's a thank you letter from... Uh, Annika? It's either Annika or Annika. Yeah. Dear Leffersons, I made this bracelet for James. I hope you guys like it. I Aww. sell my bracelets on TikTok at Finer Friends, which we'll leave down below. Uh, people can PM me if they would like one. Uh, I love watching your videos and I'm a huge Disney fan. So thanks Aww. to Annika. So it's this little bracelet. Okay, That's James cool. is actually really into wearing like necklaces yes, and is. stuff. So he actually might be into this. He wears so we'll your, have to your lay thing. Try it out. Yeah, so we'll have to try it out. It's one of these like, I used to make these bracelets all the time when mm -hmm. I was like a day camp director. This like is like a blast from the past. How fun. Okay, love that. Thank time, you so much. Time is a flat circle. <laughs> really is. Okay, we have two more packages and I believe they're both just pins that Alyssa I've has purchased. purchased. I think I'm done though. This is it's what been a minute. <laughs> I'm done though. 
I'm I done would, for now. I would randomly see the emails. It's like, thanks for your purchase. And I'm like, babe, what'd you, what'd you buy? And she's like, okay, now you have to. Everything you're going to be happy about. Okay. I think. Okay. Yep. I'm actually really happy because I just remembered some of these. Oh, these are cool. These are good pins, honey. Okay, both of these purchases are from the Florida Pickers. And if Ooh. you are not familiar with the Florida Pickers, they are live on Whatnot every single night. Really? And most of the time they're doing $1 starts, which is amazing. Um, so I've been able to get some pretty good deals on pins. And it's really funny. The reason why I have two purchases is because there was one pin I was specifically looking for in the first sale and he didn't have any more of that pin. And then he had tagged me in another sale that he was mm. having because he had he found another one. That's so he actually cool. tagged me and like, I wasn't planning to purchase pins that day, but then he tagged me and then I bought the pin and then I ended up getting a couple of others, so. And that's the other side with yeah. the whatnot as well as like the community because it is a you community. get to know the sellers and it's fun. It's yeah. just a good time. Yeah. So, so now like he knows that we have a YouTube channel yeah. and it's like a whole thing. It's It's been fun, so. I'll start with mine. Okay, things. go for it. Um, I'm gonna start with the cutie patootie at the top. And it is a itty bitty Eeyore as a muffin? Yeah, well, this one a, of the munchlings. A blueberry muffin. Yeah, I think so. That is stupid cute. Oh, cute. So right beneath that we have Miguel with the guitar and uh, some marigolds. You don't have that, do you? I don't think so. I I, I didn't know if you had it, I but I bought so. it anyways because I thought it was cool. And then this. So this James. was actually from like a booster pack or something. I would really I'm like the whole set, it. but they're really beautiful. Uh, James is definitely in his Encanto era right now, and he's gonna love this because it is Mirabelle with uh, Antonio and the animals, and he's yeah. all about animals right now. He really like he knows he's, them. He knows so many animals. He, he's a smart it is cookie. crazy the animals that he knows. He knows what an urchin is in the ocean. Like just the craziest things like that. So anyways, okay, so this was from the second pin sale. The one that I really, really wanted from the first pin sale is also because of James. It is a munch lane and it's of Donald Duck, which really doesn't make much sense to us, but it's um, a corn on the cob, Donald Duck. He... And James loves <laughs> corn on the cob. <laughs> That, so I had to get this one. That is too It holds cute. sentimental value. So I really wanted it. They had one for sale. And of course, like someone outbid me, but I was like, do you have another one? Like, could I have another chance at that? That's so cute. <laughs> so cute. And then, so I purchased that pin and then I'm like, okay, what else does he have on his boards? I've already paid the money for shipping. So let's see what else. Ooh. I ended up being able to get two other pins to complete our collections. Okay. So this is our last pin that we needed oh, yeah. from our Winnie the Pooh um, mystery pin box, blind box, one of the newer sets. And this is the ticker that says TTFN. Oh, yeah. Or no, this one's the one that says let's bounce. We already have the TTFN one. And then that one is, I think the last one we need from that set. Yeah, so this is um, a set where they have, they go together, they're partner pins, mm -hmm. and they have like Baymax, out of his armor, but then it has all the other people in their yeah, it's armor. Like in their hero armor. form and then in their like normal form. But it's right? in like that that cell shaded like action yeah. book. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Or so book. we had normal I think I think that's the last one yeah. we needed to complete both of those sets. Good so grabs. Awesome. Good grabs, right? Okay, so right. this was kind of a long video. Yeah, it was. Thank Sorry. you guys for sticking with us. It's been a minute. Um it has been a minute. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. And thank you to everyone that sent magic mail. If if this Tickles your your noodle. Go down below. Send us uh, uh, whatever you, whatever you're feeling. Yeah. So our magic mail is always open. Of course, we will probably not know when we're going to post our next one. It kind of just depends on when we get enough for a video. Um, but yeah, we would love but, more magic mail if you yeah. want to send us some. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe for more content. We've got more Disney vlogs coming, and we've got some. Bibbity boxes coming and pin unboxings coming and all sorts of stuff. So Follow subscribe. us on Instagram as well. Check us out all on the Patreon if you want oh, to support us. If there. you are supporting us on Patreon, thank oh, you yeah. so much. We love Hello. you guys. We love you guys. We actually just went live we today on Patreon and we're gonna go live again in a couple of weeks. So it's a good time to be a Patreon. We basically discussed our perfect day at Magic Kingdom. Yep. If you guys are going to Disney, it would be good for a listen, like a lot of good information. And if you're gonna go to Disney and you need a travel agent to help you book and book for you, 
This is I'm funny. your gal. Yep. Um, is that right. it? Do we have any more plugs? I oh, if you need a DJ. No, we've already done that, actually. Jeez Louise. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Bye.